slap some serious skin together for Mr. Diego Fuente! Actually, it is Diego Antonio Fuentes Lopez in full, in case there was any doubt as to whether or not I was in fact Latino. But uh, you ladies, you felt that vibe, right? You know, I know you did. Because as I was walking past you up to the stage, you were clutching your purses and your wallets just a little bit too tight. The girl back there has got an arm lap. Ladies, not all the Latino stereotypes are true. Not all Latinos make good criminals. Why do you think so many of us are in jail? <laughs> no, no, you know who the good criminals are? Like, the exceptional criminals? Criminals are the blacks. You know, the blacks, the Madoffs, the Bushes, the Maroonies. White color. That is where the crime is. Okay, 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 maybe, maybe they're not exceptional. You know, Comrade Black did serve six years. But for what? Investing $200 million. Like, Kobe Bryant doesn't make that. And he has to, like, play every day. You know what I mean? And, you know, Bernie Madoff, he got, what, 125 years? But he broke the cardinal rule. Like, he, his mistake is that he stole from other rich white people. <laughs> like, that was his downfall. Because if, if he was running an insurance scam, like, billing people on Social Security, he'd still be in business. <laughs> no, for sure. Anyway, so, uh, yes, this is my first time here. But also, comedy in general is new to me. And uh, I want to thank, thank you uh, for the invitation. Um, you know, but it, there's a familiarity about being in front of a group of people, you know, that I don't know, and they're all staring up at me. Normally, it's like 12 jurors and a judge and, you know, <laughs> the court, but, it, you know, it's, it's the same thing. Laugh, don't laugh. Guilty, not guilty. <laughs> no, no, I, I am, uh, I'm an actor, and um, I don't know if you guys, some of, uh, you might have seen, it, like uh, Ray mentioned, I, I have a commercial that's been out for about a year now for Ford, like, hey, who wants to stop for gas? I don't. Have you guys seen that one? <laughs> <laughs> No, that commercial is awesome. I really love uh, that commercial. Not only has it played for a year and added nicely to my bank account, but it, it, it just shows Canadians that a Latino man can also help sell cars as opposed to just steal them. Like just, again, folks, we've got to break the stereotype, all right? Uh, no, but uh, acting is awesome. It's like it's the only thing I know how to do properly. As you can see, I'm not a very good painter. Uh, <laughs> I am an actor, so we have to do things on the side. But no, I've been lucky. Like, uh, I, I love acting. It's the greatest job in the world. Uh, this comedy thing. It's working out okay. Um, but the thing about acting, like, it is, again, the greatest job in the world. You get to pay to, like, play and pretend. And they actually pay you for it. It's fantastic. But it has its downfalls. The first one, obviously, is financial. You don't always know where your next paycheck is coming. But the other one is, uh, it's hard watching movies as an actor. Because, you know, like, movies are magical. And, you know, if you watch a movie, you. you you don't know you're watching a movie as a regular person, but as an actor and in the business, like I've been behind the curtain, I've been on set, so I've seen the strings, right? And so I look at movies differently than anyone else does. So a movie has to be so good uh, that I forget I'm watching a movie, or so bad that I just know that, you know, like, I'm gonna leave my bread at the door and enjoy it. So The Godfather, strangely enough, The Godfather and Dude, You're My Car kind of like have the same level for me. You know? <laughs> they, they really do. And like, the one thing, obviously, I look at, I look at the cin cinematography, continuity, everything else, but the one I break down a lot, of course, is the acting, because again, I'm an actor. Like the other day, I'm, I'm flipping through, uh, through the TV, and I see this really cool scene, this great scene, actually, um, between a man and a woman. And the woman looks at her man, and she looks at him lovingly and says, oh, baby, I love you so much. And I don't know if it was the acting that was so bad, or the fact that when the camera panned back, she had the guy's dick up her ass, but I just didn't believe it. Like, I just, <laughs> you know, like, and then I checked the channel guide, and it's like Naughty Neighbor 6, and you know, I didn't see one through five, so all character development got thrown out the window. And, uh, I wasn't sure who the neighbor was. You know, that's my fault. You know, that's my fault, but uh, yeah. Oh, porn. Porn, porn, porn. First of all, let me just say this, guys. Porn is not a documentary, okay? Not every woman is waiting for you to get home just so you can suck your dick and get it up the ass. Uh, Laura knows this, right, Laura? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But the thing is, like, I, I don't, like, the fact that men in general get sex is shocking to me. I mean, look at women. You, I, like, you, this is a great crowd. You are beautiful, soft skin, flowing hair, you smell wonderful. Everything about you is perfect. But we're just hairy, smelly beasts. We're meatheads. 
So the, I mean, the fact that we get sex at all is surprising, but the, the bonuses, I like to call them, the extras, is, you know, the roll in the anal. I'm, like, I'm surprised we get it at all because, because of the way men speak. Okay, let's think about this. When things are bad, okay, they suck. Now, nowadays we say suck monkey's ass or suck balls, but it usually it comes from sucking cock, okay? So that's number one. Number two, any guy who's like just the biggest jerk you know, what do we call him? We call him a cocksucker, correct? And number three, when a guy feels he's been wronged and he's been completely violated, what does he say? I've been royally fucked. Up the ass. Yeah, there we go. So to recap, something that sucks is bad, sucking cock is bad, a cocksucker is a complete asshole, and being violent is taking up the ass. Yet this is what we want from our women, okay? We need to change the way we speak, okay? We need to change our expressions. So for example, you know, imagine a guy comes home to his wife and says, honey, today sucked. You know that, you know that, this is, sorry, this is what I might say to begin with. He's like, you know that cocksucker I work with Mike? Well, he totally screwed me over. He took my idea, he took it to the bosses, and he got a, he got a, uh, a raise, and, and, and $20,000, he completely fucked me in the ass, right? That's what he would normally say. This is what I suggest he says. Again, we have to change the way we speak. So honey, guess what? Today sucked. Well, things still suck. But, um, so you know that asshole Mike? You know that, you know that cock hater? You know that cock hater that doesn't swallow? You know Mike, yeah? <laughs> yeah, he completely, he took my idea to, to the bosses, he got a promotion, got $20,000 raise, and I felt so violated. It was as if he took me shopping for shoes for three fucking hours. It was just brutal, you know? And Mike, on the other hand, his, his saying should be something like this. Honey, guess what? So you know that cock eater that I work with who doesn't swallow? Um, I stole his idea. I took it to the management. I got a $20,000 raise. It was like I was sucking cock all night and taking up the ass for hours. It was fantastic. <laughs> this is how we have to speak. I know, it's all dirty. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm a lot older than you guys. I can see the crowd. And uh, I actually felt I officially became old last week like officially became old, because I found myself bitching about how good the now generation has it was supposed to us when we were kids. And what brought that on was television, because I read that they're coming out with voice-activated TVs, because the remote control is too fucking hard to use, all right? You know what my remote control was as a kid? My sister. And I was my brother's remote, and we were all my dad's remote. It's like, change the channel. And this was like, turn to the right, this was turn to the left. And seriously, like, I don't know, like, you guys might not know this. I mean, I know Ray, because he's old as fuck, too. Uh, <laughs> he'll, he'll get this one. When we had TV, and again, this is me just bitching. It's like, when we had TV, we had to get up off the couch and change the channel by dial. There was only 12 channels, and then there was a U for UHF, and underneath there was like, like 56, 7 channels, right? Like, that was our television. And I'm like, nowadays, and, and, and if you wanted to watch something, you had to be there at that time to watch it. There was no downloading, you know? Like, and then the remotes came by, and you were pretty cool if you had one. And then there was this, like, I don't know if you guys remember this, because again, you all seem pretty young. There was this box. There was this box that was attached to the TV, and it had like, like 24 channels. And then you switched it, and you're like, when you had that box, man, you were the most popular kid in the block. Honestly, you're like, what do you mean you got channel 18? Get the fuck out of here, really? And there was no downloading, you know, like, Again, we had to watch it. It was just brutal. And now they have voice-activated TVs. It's just unbelievable watching technology. But I have, I, I have a suggestion for the makers of this, these uh, voice-activated TVs. I think they have to put some, some fail-safes. Because men, when we're watching sports, we yell at the TV. You know, we do that. So we got to be careful because all of a sudden you're going to be like yelling, fuck, and the TV's going to change to porn. <laughs> and they're going to be like, ah, oh, fucking cocksucker. It's going to be gay porn. <laughs> And even if you say something like, ah, oh, shit, all of a sudden, Jersey Shore is going to come on. So <laughs> that's my recommendation for these people. Anyway, folks, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dio.